Well, I know what most of you must be thinking right now. You see, I am a mind reader and I can read your minds. Most of you must be thinking right now, why is this lady up on stage with a lantern when the auditorium is so bright? Well, I am not a ghost. Neither I am here to sing a song. Gumna me hai This village, you know it had hundred houses. But unfortunately, there was no electricity. It used to get pitch dark after every sunset. As a result, everybody, they lived in the dark. One day, one gentleman from that same village, he had a brilliant idea. So he went all the way along to Delhi and bought himself a lantern. Now, his house was the only house which was illuminated. And the rest of the houses were still dipped in the dark. So, these 99 houses, they actually started comparing with, you know, this gentleman. How come there is only one house which has, which has light and the other houses, they don't have light? Well, one logical option for them would have been, they would have also traveled all the way along to Delhi and bought themselves a lantern. What they did instead, these 99 person, they actually destroyed the gentleman's lantern. I admit, I admit that I was a part of this 99 person once upon a time, like I still remember, it was my 15th birthday. I was super excited. I had my friends, relatives and everyone around. But when I was about to cut the cake, one of my friends who was mumbling, I overheard her saying, she is a damn lucky girl. You know her parents? have all the money that can buy her anything. You see, I would have come, you know, also from a business family. I wish, I wish. Well, that girl was certainly me. Lucky, don't you think? My friends also used to think me, you know, I was lucky. But was I truly lucky? Ladies and gentlemen, they were literally days that I did not feel like coming back home for those constant fights, arguments, kind of relationships, you know, the parents had day and night, no, sharing no strong bond between the siblings. I never felt that I was at home, never felt. I really felt, you know, that I was living in a house which was built with beautiful bricks. But it lacked love and affection. This is my family, ladies and gentlemen. And the girl that you see next to my dad is my eldest sister. It is her love and affection that I always crave for. But what I did instead, I started comparing with her. The way she appeared tall, beautiful and slim. And it did not end here. As I grew up, I started comparing with all those people who shared beautiful relationships, strong bonds, who appeared better than me, whose family have more wealth than me. It did not end here. It did not end here. And I am not the only one. Rather, by this time, I was actually suffering from a severe disease. The disease called comparison. Ladies and gentlemen, what comes into your mind when you see this lady who's carrying a high-end bag? She must be from a wealthier family or maybe she must be a daughter of a rich dad or maybe a wife of a sugar husband. Not only this, the comparison also happens when a lady sees another lady who is well-dressed. She quickly compares herself with the other lady 
and if you think the comparison also you know happens only between ladies then there are also gentlemen who compares themselves with the other gentlemen in terms of physique and the comparison doesn't end here it goes beyond it happens you know between the gadgets high end gadgets accessories watches cars and what not literally me you and every one of us we keep comparing with something or the other we do not even realize like the saddest part is we are also compared the day we are born by our maternal aunts relatives and our loved ones are ladka hua hai ladki hui hai is it a girl or a boy oh my god he looks so pale jab mera beta hua tha na he was really healthy despite this people they take a complete pride if a boy child is born into their family and they are equally depressed if a girl child is born into their family this is sad but this is what it is like lacking love empathy and that strong bond you know i thought everything would be fine now after marriage but i was wrong just like vikram and betal one of the indian classic series where betal the demon he refused to leave king vikramaditya and held him tightly likewise the betal in my life comparison it did not leave me it did not leave me in fact i started to compare now with other women in terms of finances status and what not then came the most beautiful phase of my life i became mother my son was born to me i was so happy but this disease of comparison is so contagious that it did not leave me but more importantly did not leave my son my son has bitter ego and he is bullied every day for this the way he appears he doesn't feel good about himself and no do i i have no answer to it sometimes but then instead of comparing himself with others he started focusing more him on himself on his own strengths like he is an excellent cook he loves to bake ladies and gentlemen the number of instruments that you see is in played by my son is really good he's really good in many things the drawing that you see is also done by him he loves to style himself and all those things really makes him feel good about himself and it has really helped him and me also to shift my focus from others to myself like you see an apple it cannot be compared with an orange an apple is rich in fibers an orange is rich in vitamin c we need to understand we are different we have unique strengths and weaknesses our fingerprints are different our dna is unique why do we compare ourselves with others something or the other like i did it would serve no good result you know what i realized that i was living with this with more than 3 decades in the year 2018 i was emotionally mentally physically spiritually completely drained i really needed help and i did you know i started healing myself i took support of meditation i joined various mentorship programs took support of mentors and implemented really lot of steps to come out of this this really helped me to come out from this disease of comparison you know i took really immediate steps to come out of it and i took support of my mentors it wouldn't have been possible the steps that i really followed and it has really helped me to come out of the severe disease of comparison is what i'm sharing with you today in the form of a framework and that is called accept where a is accepting it is only when i started accepting myself the way i am the way i appeared the things people circumstances around me 
Life started to unfold in more beautiful ways. Things started to move for better and no longer this comparison did bother me anymore. The second thing that really helped me to come out of this comparison, I counted my blessings. And this really helped me to celebrate my life, me and everything, every small and every big win. Like few weeks back, before this event, I was actually on my way to pick up my son. I saw a speeding truck coming on my way and it rammed into my car and the windows, they fell and they broke upon me. And I had absolutely no idea that I would have been alive today. But I made it. The only thoughts that was, you know, coming into my mind then, what will happen to my son, my family and my parents back behind? But I am really grateful to the universe that I am alive and I am here in front of you today. I really, really learned to be grateful for every little thing that has really helped me to live my life more gracefully. The next thing, instead of comparing always with others, the day I stopped comparing what others are doing and I focus more on what I was good at. Things that I love to do. It really helped me to make more confident, increase in my energy, vitality. I was able to achieve more bigger goals in my life. The next, which is again very important for me and that really, really, really helped me to, you know, come out from this disease of comparison and that is patience. Till now, I knew that everything takes time. You need to have patience because patience has its own rewards. Honestly, I never felt good about the statement. It is because I always looked out for those instant results without much efforts. And also I live in an era where everything is delivered instantly, just a click away. Food, groceries, news that I want to see or books that I want to read. But when I realized, when I realized that I need to inculcate patience because that is going to help me to achieve more bigger goals, to be more in peace, I would be free from this anxiety and the disease which I was actually suffering from for decades. It's really helped me. From the day I started exercising patience, Definitely, it has really helped me to be in more peace. I was able to focus more on my strength. All the more, I was able to achieve all my big goals in my life. Last but not the least, it is only when I started taking massive actions to come out of this disease of comparison, I was able to take charge of my life. It is only when I started taking accountability of whatever was happening to me in my life, I was able to reclaim the lost the control rather in my life. Not only this, the day I learned to be true to myself and I stopped pleasing people, I could take control of my life. So ladies and gentlemen, comparison kills your incomparable self. And the only thing that we need to accept is just to accept ourselves the way we are. Like most of us must be familiar with the saying, the grass is always greener on the other side. However, I beg to differ. The grass is greener when we pour water in it. So, you are just beautiful the way you are. You are just complete the way you are. So please accept yourself and stop comparing with anybody.